All right, thank you, Gina. Well, they thought they had a plan that would save them money, but as many as 12,000 APS customers ended up paying more than they needed to get their electricity. And today, the new head of APS is set to answer questions about the company's online tool that didn't always help customers find the cheapest power plan. Kylie is joining us live this morning to explain how APS is going to handle this mistake. Kylie, good morning. Hey, good morning. If you are one of the many APS customers out there that was impacted by this, you know, a couple years ago, you had a rate increase. So average customer, their rates went up about six bucks, bucks a month. So that's a little more than $70 a year. So APS, you know, you think you're using this trusted online calculator to maybe help you pick a different plan, save a little bit of money. That was the idea, right? That's what everybody thought, but that was not in fact the case for some 12,000 customers. A glitch had some some people actually signing up for much pricier plans. APS says that they're now crediting those customers' accounts back, but this all comes as the utility company is asking for yet another rate hike. Again, they had a big one in 2017, and last month, APS asked the Corporation Commission to raise rates by $184 million beginning this time next year. Now, the commission here, they have to approve the rate hike, and political editor Dennis Welch recently sat down with one commissioner who wrote an email, a pretty uh, scathing email last month, calling APS actions appalling. I'm hoping the new CEO, CEO can start in December in, in, in convincing the world, including members uh, of the press, that they, he intends to change the culture of APS and to have them be a leader instead of simply a follower of, of making mistakes uh, quite often, but changing the system so they can be a, an example to other utilities in the state. So APS's new CEO, he's been in office for about a month. Jeff Goldner will be in the hot seat. The meeting starts at 10 this morning, and he's going to be answering the questions of how did this happen? Why did this happen? Uh, what, what are they going to do moving forward to fix this glitch? It'll probably be answering a lot of other questions when he, again, is in the hot seat at 10 a.m. All right, Kylie, thank you so much.